جو آپ مسایا وہ اپن سی فائیو ایئرز گا آل اف اے سڈن Madam Speaker, they have lost touch with the people of this country. They have lost all sensibility of reality. Where is the caring? Where is the people first? Madam Speaker, the track is rising crime. Unsolved rapes, murders and robberies. The direction, Mr. Prime Minister, is unprecedented fear, unprecedented insecurity for the people. But the UPP election budget says, right track, right direction. Why change a thing when residents fear more and more for their lives? Tourists are afraid to visit and law and order is placed under the most incompetent administrator, UK police expert David Loftus has ever seen in 30 years of policing around the entire world. Those are not the words of Asad Michael. Those are the words, Madam Speaker, of UK police expert David Loftus who said he had never, ever seen such an incompetent, inept, uncaring Minister of Justice like Colin Derrick. Never. And we have placed our police force, our justice system in the hands of this man, Madam Speaker. And then we have the gall, we have the gumption to come here and the honorable member for St. John's release tells us that he has placed $63 million allocation for the 2009 budget because it has become necessary to deal with the inadequacies of Colin Derrick as Justice Minister. Right track, right direction. The budget, Madam Speaker, confirms that with $400 million more per year to take care of the people's business, this UPP government has made a complete mess, a mockery, celebrating its incompetence, its greed, its insatiable, extraordinary appetite, Madam Speaker, for personal ministerial benefit with blatant corruption and scandalous wastage. Not because you ask $400 million more in revenue, you must waste the people's monies. A mile of road, Madam Speaker, around the Sir Vivian Richards Cricket Stadium cost the taxpayers of this country $10 million. Lest we forget, $10 million for one mile of road. It used to cost, Madam Speaker, the same mile of road used to cost the former Antigua Labour Party government, under the same contract with C.O. Williams, $1.5 million a mile. But it seems we no longer have the right to question such mind-boggling irregularities. Madam Speaker, the persistent cries by the people of this country for action, action to ensure that is the justice Mr. Prime Minister, we want to hear, with respect to the scandalous $120 million on a cricket stadium donated by the Chinese, it has so far fallen on deaf enemy ears. The Prime Minister has taken me to be a personal enemy. I am public enemy number one, because who am I to dare to question I did not accuse the Honourable Prime Minister of any skullduggery. I did not accuse the Honourable Prime Minister when I stood up in this house of any corruption. But I asked the Honourable Prime Minister, Madam Speaker, for transparency, for accountability, for answers to the questions that people are asking. But no, 
Don't dare touch the Prime Minister's anointing. David Sherwan, the cabinet appointed coordinator of the project, he called all the shots to the extent of exercising decision making that properly belonged to the downgraded deputy prime minister, properly belonged to the minister of public works. And he sidetracked him, sidetracked him. Madam Speaker, the fundamentals of good governance, you speak about good governance, you are voting in on the tenets of good governance and transparency and accountability because you said the previous administration was so corrupt. Paul and Spencer, the Honourable Prime Minister, the Honourable Member for St. John's Road West, you have no moral authority to call any election in this country until you first call a commission of inquiry into the Cricket World Cup Stadium fiasco to determine in the public interest what really transpired up here. It is the biggest government spending scandal ever in this country. And we must just brush it under the carpet. We must just sweep it away. And you have put private interests, private interests before public interests that you swore to adhere to. Your fiduciary duty and responsibility to the people of this country. You have no moral authority to announce any election date, to move any back paper from your back pocket to your side pocket to your front pocket until you call for an inquiry. We want answers with that cricket stadium. And since he will not do it, the people will ensure that it's done when they vote for change in the New Year election. Madam Speaker, the pattern of corruption wastage in this UPP government, it features as well the fancily decorated jelly bean sidewalks downtown, the poorly engineered drains, which are now responsible for severe flood damage every time a little extra rain passes, Madam Speaker. After Omar, not Omar, the rains after Omar, Madam Speaker. Go and ask the store owners. They have to be calling cleaning services, sweeping and pushing out water out of the stores. There is no proper planning. We have money. We have taxes. Spend it. Spend it. No proper planning. We hear a big boss of the hundreds of millions of dollars that was supposedly spent on roads. So where can we find the hundreds of millions of dollars? Is the Public Works Minister, my good friend, the member for St. Philip South, are you satisfied, sir, with the quality? Are you satisfied with the value? Are you satisfied that the people's money has been properly spent? You, Mr. Minister, also need to go and have an investigation into one of your, your persons in Public Works. Because all the words in Emerald Cove were Barbara Green. Millions of dollars spent, and I don't think the minister even know. I don't think he's aware of it. And I don't think he knows if any money is paid into the treasury, and how much. Madam Speaker, how much millions of dollars? We are told, and we see that they're fixing up and rehabilitating all the sporting facilities around the country. But Madam Speaker, it is not enough just to fence a sporting facility. You've got to have proper facilities, bathrooms, stades, benches, stands, changing rooms. You have to just fence it. You know, the surfaces need to be barbed green properly, marked out the basketball courts. You can see no thinking, no forward planning. They have money, so spend it. And then we are told of all these brown paper bags that have been given to the minister responsible for sports and that he's been spon sponsored thousands of t-shirts, Madam Speaker. That is not right. Honorable Member, I call your attention to standing order number 36-5 and advise you to be careful about imputing improper motives to members of either house. 